Hey, it's a lady in London here, and today I want to take you outside of London for a country walk in Kent. This walk starts in Seven Oaks, and it's a great one if you like stately homes and the English countryside. It's not that far away from London, but it feels like a totally different world. I can't wait to show you around. After starting at the Seven Oaks train station, this walk continues through the town of Seven Oaks itself. There's a lot to see here, and it's really pretty, so leave yourself some extra time to explore. Just outside Seven Oaks is Knoll Park, where you'll start to get into the countryside. There's herds of deer here, and it's amazing how close you can get to them, but just remember not to get too close. They are wild animals after all. Next, you'll come to Knoll House, one of the biggest and most impressive stately homes in England. It's great to pass by, and if you have time, you can pop into the courtyard and take a look around as well. After exiting Knoll Park, your walk will take you through some more fields and down some country roads. You'll pass by a garden, and there's all kinds of things to see along the paths and the pastures. There are horses too. After walking over a busy overpass, you'll find yourself in Seven Oaks Weald in the Kent Downs area of outstanding natural beauty. This is an amazing place to see everything from wildlife to oast houses and all things that make Kent unique. Next you'll come to Ide Hill, which is a village with a community shop, public restrooms, and lots of pretty houses and pubs to see. There's a wooded path through here too, so it's pretty to walk around.
Once you leave Ide Hill, you'll come into Emmett's Garden, a National Trust property that you literally walk right through on the path. It's a great place to stop for a snack or a rest, and there are more public restrooms here. Once you leave Emmett's Garden, you'll walk through lots of different types of countryside, from woodland areas to open fields. You'll even pass by historic cemeteries and pretty cottages. Eventually you'll find yourself in Westerham where the walk ends. It's known for its Winston Churchill connections since it's close to his country house Chartwell. I hope you've enjoyed this look at this country walk in Kent and that it encourages you to get out of London and spend a day in the countryside as well. It's a great way to get some exercise and some sunshine hopefully and to see a bit of a different part of the UK. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. Happy walking! <laughs>